Hi, Paul Shelley here. Um, I wanted to show you a quick outdoor video today about one of the materials that's been been used for over probably 2,000 years uh, in terms of crafts as one of the finishing techniques and it grows generally in streams and running water. Um, I don't have running water here so mine lives in a bucket. Um, so this is horsetail. I'll just kind of zoom in for you here. So what you can see uh, it's got the seeds, well the seeds starting at the top, so that's what a seed pouch looks like. Um, and then, just to get the whole plant in, it's a long reed um, type plant, but it comes in segments, as you can see, so these are all different segments. And one of the things it does for craft, and why it's such a good finishing um, material, is it's almost used in similar scenarios where you could imagine using uh, sandpaper, but it's a lot finer. And the thing about sandpaper is it's actually an abrasive. So it has little particles of sand um, or diamond or whatever grit they, that people have decided to put on them for different kinds of paper. Um, and what it is, it's actually scuffing the surface. And it scuffs it to finer and finer levels, which is where the kind of polish comes from, but it's always a scuffed surface. One of the interesting things about horsetail is actually along th these they're actually got barbs on so they're basically cutting blades and they're very very fine and it doesn't matter whether you go to the top of the plant where the finer um, blades are or the bottom where they're a lot rougher um, it's it's still you still can't feel them with with your fingers like it feels slightly tacky but it doesn't feel in any way sharp but once you do the, um, you apply this on wood and you kind of do the f um, different finishing techniques with it, it it produces a very lovely finish and a very nice, um, almost part burnished, part, but a kind of cut burnished look, but not too strong as it's obviously only a green plant rather than a very hard surface. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to introduce you to that today and hopefully you found that interesting.